All right. The two days of battle at Jonesboro. Jonesboro. All right, we're over here in Jonesboro at the Confederate Cemetery. And these are all the people that died and the Confederates. I guess they used to have a visitors and, oh, look at that. Oh, they still do. Yep, sign in, sign in. And we can check it out. But these are all the Confederate soldiers here. That passed away. And I guess this is Patrick R. Confederate Cemetery. You said no names are on them? No names. No names, huh? Just headstones. Yes. Yep, you're right. Well, it says they were. Um. The area within the enclosure was a burial place of Confederate soldiers who died in local hospitals during the war. After it, after it closed, Confederate casualties buried on the battlefields where they fell were removed to this hollow ground. So that means the ones that they, after the war, they went back to get, were buried here. All right, so they went back Along, to get their dead? Yeah. Yep. And after watching PBS, we know there wasn't much left to them. No, <laughs> there wasn't. But bones. That's every little headstone here is somebody. Somebody. Somebody's loved one. Oh, some. Well, maybe some of them had their. Well, if I'm not mistaken, this is how dog tags came to be about. Yeah. After the Civil War, where they had to wear dog tags. Because a lot identify. of these. Yeah, like this is 1864, 1825, 1864. So a lot of these here is probably when the ones they knew. And it goes all the way back there. So these ones came from Texas. All the 10 Texas Infantry, Georgia, 34th Georgia. Infantry, 30th Georgia Infantry, and back to the no names. Yep. Yeah, basically we're on the opposite end of the, the cemetery. Mm -hmm. But you can't miss it in Jonesboro. Nice and quiet and peaceful. Yes, it is. There you go, someone with the Army of Tennessee was in here as well. Mm. But yep, you are correct. There's nothing written yeah, that's on why none I'm, of these headstones. That's why I'm thinking the ones that do have stuff written are the ones that probably died at the hospital. Yeah. And the other ones they just came for. Yeah. Now we got something here that says 58th North Carolina State Troops or TRPS, 4th Kentucky Infantry, 60th North Carolina Infantry, and then you said the Georgias and the Texans again. Yeah, 1st Confederate Infantry. 29th Georgia Infantry. 43rd Georgia Infantry. Yep, they're all here in this beautiful cemetery. All right, well, it's not much here other than this little area here off yeah. the highway. Anything interesting you've seen in that pamphlet that you got at the sign in? Oh, well, no? other than there's over 700 unknown here. Okay. So that's why a lot of them don't have names don't names on the headstones. All right. Okay. What was the other history that you found out? 
1962, the state of Georgia placed 600 white markers laid out in the pattern of the St. Andrew's Cross. Completing the design in 1991 with the final 113 markers, at that time the cemetery was rededicated as the Patrick R. Kelburn Cemetery. Huh. Well, that's, so right, I guess the sense. walkway is the cross? Yes. All right. So this is a cross that goes that way, that way, and that way. Okay, that looks like a letter T. Oh, and that way, okay. Yeah. I see it, all right. All righty. Okay. See you for the second time. See ya. Watch the flag. <laughs>